Oh God. My goodness, what time is it? Oh goodness, I gotta make some lunch. Give me a minute guys, I'm gonna freshen up. I'll be right back. Ah, here we go, that's a lot better. New year, new me. And you know what? Gonna make a brand new dish in the kitchen. Something a little sweet. So, follow me to the kitchen. Here we go. All right, you guys, so we're making sopa pillas. Very simple, very easy. We're gonna start off with four cups of all-purpose flour. Next, two teaspoons of baking powder. Here, we're using four tablespoons of shortening. And lastly, one teaspoon of salt. Once we get all the ingredients out of the giant bowl, grab a whisk, give it a good mix, and move on to the next step. Alrighty, here, I've already pre-portioned out my one and a half cups of warm water. Yes, warm, it's important. And you mix that until smooth. So I can see my sous chef here, she's about ready for us to be done, but um, we're not done yet. The final step, well, halfway point actually, I should say. We're gonna cover, set a timer for 20 minutes, let it sit, then we'll jump back into it. But before then, maybe Jeremy has something cooking up in his kitchen. What's up everybody? Jeremy here checking in with y'all, and I know it's been a long time since I said this, but we back for another segment of Cooking with the Crew Shouter. So tonight I'm gonna make something real simple, quick, convenient, and healthy actually. I'm gonna do some brats in the air fryer, some white rice, and some garlic and green beans. You know around here we heavy on the garlic. So without further ado, I'm kinda hungry, so let's get to it. So to start off, we're just gonna start dropping our brats right on in the air fryer. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Matter of fact, so easy, my chihuahuas could do it. <laughs> now that we got the brats laid out, we're gonna start that bad boy up on 325 for 20 minutes and get that thing cooking, y'all. Oh, wait, look at that, y'all. The brats are at the halfway mark, so we just gonna take them out, flip them over, make sure they get cooked evenly on the other side. All right, y'all, now the fun part, we get to add a bunch of garlic. So I got the olive oil in the skillet already preheated, sizzle, sizzle. I'm gonna drop these green beans in there and a little bit of garlic butter. And then as they cook a little bit more, I'm gonna go back and add garlic salt, lemon pepper, and some minced garlic. All right, everybody, even though it's a new year, we still got the same slogan. Like I always tell y'all, we coming down the home stretch. We almost at the finish line. Y'all see this sizzle, sizzle in the background. Green beans almost done. So I'll be back with the finished plated product. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, look at that finished product. Simple, tasty, and somewhat healthy, minus all the garlic, <laughs> but delicious nonetheless. I got myself a cutting tray, powdered the surface a little more. I don't have a rolling pin, folks, so I'm just using a cup. And also, make sure to flour your rolling pin, or in this case, my cup, and you want it to have at least a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch thickness. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in four. That's a pretty decent size. Not the prettiest cut I've ever seen, but you know, it's gonna go in my mouth either way. So move on to the next step. All right, you guys. So as I was rolling up my dough, cutting up in fours, I was preheating some oil off to the side. Here, I'm putting two pieces of dough in initially, just to test out the heat. These things cook very quickly, so keep a very close eye on them. I flip them every 10, 15 seconds, just to make sure I get a consistency throughout. You want them to be lightly golden brown. Don't overcook them and don't walk away. These things need your attention. All right, you guys, and that is it. Here we are, los sopapillos. They look beautiful, golden brown. They're light, they're fluffy. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a happy and safe holidays, and I hope you had a happy new year. Keep those new year's resolutions. And here's to another year of amazing videos with Arkansas CW. God, it's so sweet. Oh my God. I need some milk.